What's up guys, this is the Riveman and I am back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So, to pick off where we left off last time, I knocked out the Iroquois uh, hold on this territory here. Um, I destroyed the British here at Albany because they very nicely left it exposed and I also defeated a British army in the field and probably more importantly, um, I gave away Maine, Fort Nashwack and Newfoundland to the Louisiana to, to just do just Louisiana um, as they are my allies so yeah the hope is this is giving a bit of breathing room um, against the Iroquois they seemingly have plenty of forces to be able to do something about holding their own future but they didn't seem to want to do it but yeah I've the main point of this was to sort of create a high watermark in the Americas and kind of say right this is as far as I want to go um, obviously I want to have some presence here just to spar with the British every now and again they have Pence seat Philadelphia is wide open for the taking and they'd only get two units for a garrison um, but I don't want to take it not yet I want to see if the United States forms because the problem is if I take Philadelphia then I'll want to push on and if the United States forms I would like it to be in Philadelphia I think it would make a lot of sense the more pressing problem for one of these armies is the damned well actually well no, the problem for this army here actually is the uh, these territories down here at the Mughal Empire and one of those armies will actually probably get shipped over to the Middle East to help push into this region or actually they might go down here and take Ceylon and use this as a base and, and push on to capture um, Calcutta I think that's what I'm going to do first need to yeah I'm just get all my troops back into the region I need to secure this territory because they are rebelling quite heavily destroy the subsistence farm and build a proper western farm but yeah put get ready to push more into the Middle East and then take Ceylon and do some sort of amphibious assaults up the coast how much money am I getting 15,000 a turn which is not much so what it probably would be good to do as well is to get do a bit more um, naval investment to get to go into some trade theatres and ultimately kind of to try and see if I can defeat the British in the, the seas um, which is easier said than done aha yep you are being destroyed good so you're one set away from longitude watch but probably want to go for maybe copper bottoms it looks like it gives me some unique ships but it gives me speed in battle and movement range of camping maps. Yep, yeah, gives me some unique units. In Medigay, French name is it? Well, I'm assuming it's a, or it, or it could just be their names for second rates. I'm not sure if these are unique or not. Let's soon find out. Um, but yes, I would like. I think mm, this would be handy, but not yet. I think carronades could be handy. Heavy privateer interesting and um, yes I would think I need to start shooting for uh, taking away some of the British naval power and I think I've looked before lots of these navies are quite weak so if I recruit a strong navy I can get them into the battle get them into a battle and then uh, see if I can actually do a bit of a devastating dev devastating capture of some ships Toulouse is growing which is down here, isn't it? Yep, there's Toulouse. That's everyone, I think. Just need to be careful. I need these universe. I need these happiness buildings to offset the university uh, clamour for reform. But let's hit end turn. I've got no money. Well, actually, let's quickly see if we can. Do you want to make peace with any of them? Hostile with Prussia because they're on my border. Unfriendly with Spain, so be keep an eye on them. Okay, let's try to request peace with you now. Good. I love how they're indifferent with me now. Persia, I'm going to be at war with soon. Not sure if we're friendly, so it's tempting to request peace and trade. Um, no. Give you a military syllabus. No, not giving you Savoy. I'll start with Portugal, so let's do peace. Give you the Rhineland? 
You want cologne? No. Not happening. You might have screwed yourself, Portugal. I didn't. I, I must have completely forgot I was at war with you. I can recruit a pretty cool army from here in France as well. Might be a good idea to secure Portugal. But anyway, let's hit end turn. Um, I would like to do... There we go, that's what I was looking for. I would like to um, declare peace with Britain, but I would like to take their, their, their Indian colonies, um, Bengal particularly. And to be honest, that Ceylon will have to start pumping out stacks if I'm going to actually invade India. So I think I'm going to capture Ceylon for now and kind of sit on it, push more in the Middle East around Jerusalem and Turkey, build some more stacks up in the Mediterranean so I can push into the uh, into India from um, two fronts to split their armies. I think that'd be a good idea. Because I'm running into a bit of bit of an issue now with my Russia campaign because I'm, because I'm coming down through the, through Persia um, lots of their armies are being able to, are being able to uh, concentrate on that border so we need to start sending ships around the Indian Ocean and start landing on doing some um, amphibious raids good Louisiana is recruiting ships don't know where they're, oh, they're going to go attack the Mughal Empire ship now they've got all the way down there to raid and as per usual, oh no, they are. Hmm. Portugal, are you gonna are you gonna raid one of my ports? Yeah, I need to get a garrison in there. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Workers on strike. Fair enough. Okay, so let's get building on the go. Give them some weavers. Get the garrison in. That are recruiting. Get them in. Roads are on the way. Good. So let's get over here. It's a new infiltrate there because you're going to be a new target. Hmm. It's a shame having all these rakes out here doing nothing. Send him on a long walk. See what he sees. Oh, he's going to go this way. Interesting. Because Genoa is turning into quite the little superpower. Okay, so let's do a bit of smart investing. Unfortunately, one of the things I would like to do is to build a wall around Albany. Well, Boston, actually. Fortify Boston. That would be a very good idea, but I can't afford it yet. But so, how much money do I get next turn? Shade over 12,000. Okay, so let's... First, let's get you into Boston. You are not exporting all of your stuff. Are you exporting all your stuff? You are. So let's upgrade some fur trapper posts to get some more exports on the board. Let's get you into get you into Albany for now. Let's put in a trade port, and that should be enough for me to still be able to um, get some walls next turn. Because I like to fortify. Oh yeah, recruiting artillery in Jamaica for this army. So let's get my navy over here. So I can embark my artillery. Get ready to recruit the last section of artillery. Good. Get you out of my port. You're reinforced, ready to rock and roll. They're not going to have a leg to stand on. Although it's giving them a lot of tasty trade. No, not much trade, only because the Louisiana's ruining it. Ally 
with Sweden, so it's not you that's interfering with my trade. It's someone in a trade theatre is interfering with my trade. You, what do you good for? Management treasury. Okay, do I have any military people here? Treasury, justice, navy. Strategist, no sense of shame. Stall holder. To be honest, you could well be a good spot for here. Yes, knocked a few coins off of my sustainment. Navy. So I'm tempted to make him my new head. Yes, good. So longitudinal watch was researched. Good, and they've gone straight on to improve grape, which I'm not bothered about. But I am bothered about copper bottoms. More ships in battle has got to be good. Increasing my recruitment cost, but... Let's just do that, and then hop over to lime juice to reduce um, upkeep. Dusty librarian in Paris. You're growing 32 coins a turn. Not bad. Hmm. So let's get... Oh, maybe we might get all hands on Wealth of Nations. Because that's really good. Get it tracked on to Copper Bottoms. Bordeaux, stay on. Uh, blast Furnace for now. Okay. Cool. I don't want to recruit because I want to save up for walls in Boston. To be honest, I like to build walls in all my frontier towns. Maybe not all of them. Well, yeah, to be honest, I like walls in all of my frontier towns. Because if I build walls, I can move out my move my big armies out, and I can have Boston um, emergency recruit if I need to, rather than having a big army in each of them. The one that's bordering with Swedish territory, I'm not so bothered about. The Oqua territory, it's a it's a pretty poor territory, but I pretty much just wanted to take them out so I didn't have a um, hostile region just sat right there. Ah, oh, the Prussians absolutely smashed the Austrians. It could be worth actually re examining my Berlin garrison. So I could move them out, ship them out to the Middle East. Mughal Empire is blockading my port still. Genoese is still being the Genoese. There is a port in this region that is not. I know Quebec's crying out for investment. So is everywhere. But before we do anything, I think it's more important. Boston is more important. And they can still come straight up at me, so they are going to be the first one to get walls, I'm sorry. Doing for roads, could do better. Very poor craft workshop though, but it gets me a good amount of money. And it grows money in Boston. New Haven's gone out and they are also going to get an industrial building. And when Providence grows, I'm going to build that into a naval dockyard. This is where... Um, Fort Nashwack can become, become quite handy because I've got up there my commercial port. Then down here at Harbour Village. Oh no, wait. I'm being stupid. Cap for shoe. Or should it be Cape for shoe? Cap for. Either way. Um, that's a really good one to put into a military, military dockyard because this region doesn't really export much for it to be throttled by only having one port. To be honest, this one might be worth keeping an army in, or at least a garrison in, just because it could come up through this channel. So how does the army here look? All natives. <laughs> yes, and ultimately I'd like to build walls in all these regions, pull all my armies back, except for maybe one semi-decent army. 
and then position them such that they can respond to any in invasion. Like a big one will be the AI capturing some territory in Louisiana. That's a big one. Like if I had as much money as I wanted, oh, I've given you guys, wait, I'm sure I must have recruited artillery for a different reason because you've got lots now. Good, all their armies are in penny packet forces. Tiny fraction there with some natives, tiny fraction there. Mm, got fly by rank and an absolute boatload of cannons. What's this navy like? Fifths. No, I probably don't want to be caught out with you, so you go back to there. Good, everything seems to be going okay in the Middle East. Jerusalem is producing nothing. Well, you may as well lay siege to it. Demand surrender. Maintain siege for now. Knock, get, do a bit of attrition to knock some of their forces down. Mm, uh, to be honest, though. To be honest, I might just attack. Oh, yeah. They're, oh, I didn't realise how knackered they were. Yeah, I'm going to attack. I'm going to have an assault on Jerusalem. And I've got an interesting little building in Jerusalem. Because right now they're producing zero... Zero wealth they are producing. None. Not a sausage. Still. Let's put my battery up. Ooh, nice and cloudy. Grand battery. So let's... Right, we definitely want... These guys going a one breach, backed up with pikes. These guys going through one breach, backed up with pikes, and to protect my own artillery. And these guys can all go over here. Can they hide in there? Sort of. Just want to spread them out, really. Keep my general's bodyguard back here. Seeing my cavalry really, in case they fancy trying to sally out. Okay, so you punch a hole in that wall right there. Some howitzers, I could drop some real nasties over the wall. So all these camels, but this is why I've got my pikes. So these warriors are coming out. Well, some of them are, anyway. Yeah, speed up time a minute to either blow a hole in some walls or to see what. Everyone's overshooting, to be honest. Everyone's thinking they can destroy the armory before we destroy the wall. They really are. They're going to destroy the armory before they destroy the wall. This is, I suppose, demi cannons aren't actually that great cannons. But I do prefer Eastern forts. They don't mess around. So, well, they mess around with this sort of two tier bit on the wall that seems to be a bit of a grief sometimes when you're trying to defend it. But level two Eastern forts are quite nice because they're like the level one ones, but bigger. So defending them is still quite easy compared to star forts, which are historically much harder to, harder to attack, um, but thematically are much easier. Yeah, that's that corner down. Then make them focus on the other corner. And to be honest, while they're while they're chivying along. Firstly, let's halt fire at will, so I don't kill my own men. 
but let them reload. And let's get you guys out here. You prep. Okay, let's have you walk. You all hit that part. Because right now these guys can cover the breaches. I can get them in position. Most of them missed and hit that section. move up my assault forces. Probably to be more over here. So where's the settlement of Jerusalem? There it is. We still think that's it. Accidentally must have stopped them from firing again. This is so I'm, I'm, what I'm going to try to do before these guys go in the breach. I'm going to set my pikes to be uh, in a pike wall formation and then just see if I can make them just absolutely annihilate everyone on their way in. This, this, these guys are selling out by the looks of it. In which case, run my muskets into position. They've, they've gone suicidal. Turn a firewall off of those guys before they. F bef Ooh, before they fire into this unit. Okay, now they can fire at will. Fire by rank into this handful of men. Just keeping an eye on these guys to see if any of my Frenchmen die. Nope. In come the camels. Everyone. Radio, pikemen. Toggle, toggle pike wall. get my uh, original forces that were going to climb the wall into the mix earlier than necessary. Oh, 
And my guns focus fire the Union Desert Warriors. Go on, get the pikes in, get my cavalry in. It's gone all screwy. Fire into the breach, hopefully. The assault has begun. Can I get these guys to lob shells into the center? They aren't going to lob shells. At least some of them will. Oh no, they're just going to do that instead. Probably playing T carry it's probably uh, being a bit more kid gloves with this than it needed to be. No 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 don't do that. Obviously you're just gonna shoot your own guys. You guys form the pike wall. Charge into the camel nomads before you get tangled up with these militiamen. Yeah, I was being a lot more careful with these guys than I should have been. <laughs> Just get stuck straight in. You are the warriors of France. Camels on them. Oh, you guys are just being stupid now, aren't you? The Israelis are winning temporarily till my other unit of infantry get into the mix. Keep attacking the camel nomads. Gunner. Yeah, I was being a lot more conservative than I need to. I've been burned too many times in sieges. Pike unit is wavering. Interesting. Good job, I've got another one. Ready to rock and roll. Very veteran pikes as well. Smash straight into the cavalry, with into the pikes with my cavalry. No, no, no. 
Ignore, ignore, ignore. Just go straight into them. Spam click to make sure they get the message. There we go. Populous getting into the mix. And what's over here? Arm oh, Populous and more. Oh, these are the reinforcements. Okay, let's get you over here. And let's get you here to fire on them. going on for much too long. Right, you guys get inside rapidly. You set yourself up here. Fire on them. You get yourself in that building. You'd probably get into the melee because you're pretty strong. You to hold the centre. You get up here. Get stuck in. Let's get the general down here. Got by the this unit of light cavalry. Let's get you into them. This unit of generous is absolutely flying towards me. Cover the door. Lovely. Load of bugged units that can't get in the fort. Still. At least keep the timer pointing down. Nope, you're probably not going to be able to shoot. So let's just get stuck in. Yeah, they're all stuck. Oh wow! <laughs> okay, the pathfinding starting to figure it out. Everyone's not been knocked over. Oh no, they're all going straight back into it. Ultimately, this went off too long. I could well lose it. I think, assuming that the Ottoman infantry is gener generally a bit better than my infantry, and even then they're all about to break anyway, so... Victory is ours. I forgot about their reinforcing arm. I was like, where are all their troops coming from? That doesn't make any sense. End battle. Whew. 
So you know, I was like, oh, okay. And then just kind of went, hang on. There's a lot of people still running in behind me. That's not ideal. But it was a win nonetheless. A victorious victory. <laughs> Although they are going to hate me. But they can't hate me too much because they're currently earning zero money. So let's exempt you from tax because you may as well because you're earning no money. First thing you're going to do when you're ready is build me a church because you have religious unrest eight. It's probably going to get down much better when I do that and knock down all your stuff. See, Cairo likes me. Cool. Looking at the timer, I think that's the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time.